John McLean in Die Hard 4, Retour à l'Enfer. Welcome, sir. Bon, je m'en occupe. Fox finally came up with a great script, which after Die Hard 3, um, I said I was going to take a break from action films until um, the genre reinvented itself, um, which sounds smart. I didn't know what I meant, what that really meant, until I met Len Wiseman. Uh, also, I, I wanted to do it myself because I wanted to do another Die Hard because given uh, the opportunity to look at the first three films in retrospect, I always felt that the first one was, was the only real was the, not the only real one, but was the best Die Hard, and I wanted to do another film that came as close to the values of that film. You wanted to flank a helicopter with a car? I didn't have any balls. When we first started shooting um, Die Hard, I, uh, the, the, the stunt guys, I think, tried to work the Jedi mind trick on me. They, they said, well, you know, Bruce, you're, you're getting older, and you shouldn't uh, really be doing all these stunts. So, of course, I, that made me want to do way more than I should have. So I, I probably ended up do, you know, doing more stunts than I should have. But one of the things that I really like about the film, and, and I think why I, I think it is close to the first film, is there is so little CGI effects. He kicked me really hard, uh, but we didn't, it wasn't really a fight. I wish there, there was one thing that I wish there, there was more of in the film, and had it been with anybody, I wish it had been with Cyril, because I know he can fight. Um, we saw a, a film that he did, I think it was called Area 13, is that right? Area 13, and um, he's a tough guy. I mean, he did some cool things. He did that. He does that stunt where he's on the hood of the car and he goes flying up into the wall. And those guys should be called the French Die Hard guys because you can't kill those guys. If you need to hear me say fuck in a film more than twice. Then there are tons of films you can go out there and see where they cuss all over the place. It, it really didn't... After I did the first film, I got a letter from my aunt, uh, who lives in, in the States, who said, you yeah, cuss too much in this movie. So I wrote her an apology in an interview that I did. It's really simple. It would take a, a, a great script for me to do Die Hard 5. I wouldn't mind doing it again. I think we got to do it in, a, in the next five years, or I'm just going to... It's going to look stupid for me to... 60 years old and running down the waddling down the street. Thanks for coming to see the Thanks for your patience today. I'm sorry we were late. Vous vouliez dire quelque chose? You big guy.